Welcome back to another week of neuroscience literature. This week, we'll be talking briefly about a study that believes to have a method that will be useful for those receiving treatments for obstructive sleep apnea. For the rest of this video, I'll be referring to obstructive sleep apnea as OSA. OSA is a potentially serious sleep disorder. During sleep, one may experience difficulty breathing. Nearly 22 million Americans suffer from sleep apnea, while 80% of these cases are undiagnosed according to the American Sleep Apnea Association. There are three stages of sleep apnea. However, the most common form is OSA. Here, the airway is blocked, typically from when the tongue collapses against the soft palate, covering the back of the throat. Those with severe forms of this will have fragmented sleep quality. The best diagnostic tool for determining the presence of sleep apnea is through a sleep study that may either be conducted at home or in a sleep laboratory. Blood oxygen levels, respiration rate, brainwave activity, and the apnea hypopnea index are some details observed. There's currently a study that has been published in 2019 in the journal Biomedical and Health Informatics. Researchers at the University of Finland developed an automatic model based on machine learning that is used to help stage sleep. Sleep comes in five stages, each with a distinctive type of wave that can be detected manually. Here we see wakefulness, the three non-REM stages, each categorized based on their specific type of wave, and lastly, REM sleep. This is our rapid eye movement stage. REM sleep is vital to our bodies. Here, our brains are found to be most active, our bodies relax and become immobilized, and our eyes move rapidly. REM sleep is important to our sleep cycles because during sleep, our brains will consolidate information. This is essential in learning and making or retaining memories. If sleep is continuously interrupted, this could eventually have harmful effects. As I mentioned, to diagnose sleep apnea, professionals will manually classify each stage. They refer to 30-second epochs using EEG, EOG, and submental EMG measured during overnight polysonography. These are all different medical evaluations used to record electrical activity produced by the body. 13 electrodes must be placed accordingly, and this entire process is very time-consuming and laborsome. The researchers hope that their new methods will ease this process. In the study, they utilized samples from public and clinical data sets. Their method was developed from raw EEG and EOG signals. Sleep staging was implemented using both two-channel and single-channel inputs. They were able to achieve high accuracies in their automatic sleep staging model. Both the clinical and public data sets had accuracies in the low 80s percentile for both two-channel and single-channel methods. The researchers believe this method to be reliable, fast, and accurate. They say that the single-channel approach that they developed could enable a cost-efficient, simple, and accurate sleep staging in OSA diagnostics. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. And these are my sources.